I'm Donald with Steambrite Supply and today I wanted to show you a uh, three motor HEPA vacuum that has a six and a half gallon pre-separator on it so that this uh, unit can be used for sanding uh, hazardous materials like concrete dust, um, slurry material, uh, mold and mildew, abatement work, things like that. I uh, wanted to go over some of the features with you. Uh, to begin with, you'll see that it has three vacuum motors in it. Uh, each has their own circuit breaker as well as a circuit locator. It does take two power cords. This unit's got two 25-foot 12-3 extension cords on it with glow plugs that light up when you have power. And then to make sure that you're on separate circuit breakers, it has a momentary button and when you push it, it gives you a bright green light. Now, if you plug in to the cords and it, you come over here and push this and it doesn't give you a bright green light, then that means you need to go unplug one of them, go find another one, and come back here and push that button. Until you get a green light, these won't even turn on. So, uh, this is going to tell you you're on separate circuits. It's super important to do that. You'll notice that... Um, First of all, we did put quick disconnects on the vacuum hose. So this unit includes 50 feet of 2 inch vacuum hose and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it so that I can show you some other features. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug it as well because I wanted to kind of take it apart. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you that this handle lifts off. Now, I'm not going to lift the handle off, but I just wanted to show you how we do it. There's uh, four quick disconnect pins that hold this handle on. It's currently at 60 inches high. This padded handle has both these handles come off. <coughs> Excuse me. And to do that, I'm just going to take a flat blade screwdriver and reach in here and pull this up, and this pin comes out. And you would do that on all four. And likewise, to do the reverse, I'm simply going to put it back in here and just lift this up and that'll snap back on there. So if you want to store this in an upright position in a service vehicle, if you have a short roof van or a trailer and, uh, and you needed to get it down to 44 inches, you can simply pull the pins to do that. You notice here we do include a, an extension cord hanger system. So if you're traveling up and down staircase, you don't have to worry about your cords ending up in your wheels. We did also include stair climbing wheels. So this travels up and down stairs very, very well. I'm gonna show you what it looks like under the hood, so to speak. So there's latches on the side that you can lift up when this comes down. There's another quick disconnect on the, uh, the back in here. Let me find the button. There's a little button to push. Once you push the button here, that allows these to quick disconnect very easily. And then this unit will just lift off. We use the Clean Stream washable HEPA filter. This is 82 pleats and a little over 10 square feet of media space. This is your fifth filter. There's also a polyester cotton fourth, fourth stage filter system. This is also washable. You can wash this and let it dry and reuse it over and over again. Also inside the unit is a high efficiency yellow bag. Uh, you would use this only for your dry pickup. If you're going to do wet pickup, this bag just pulls off. There's a rubber band system on the inside here and you can pull this cardboard off and screw this deflector on so that, that the water would point down. That's gonna prevent it from blowing up against this uh, cotton polyester filter. On the uh, back of the unit, I'll just swing it around here like this. Uh, you can take this off. If this is filling up with concrete dust, you need to go empty it. Uh, you're simply just going to pick it up. 
and it's going to lift off these hooks. You notice there is a little yellow button here that you can push, and this allows you to unscrew that. So you push this in and unscrew the lid. This lifts off, and this is going to have another filter on it. And then in here, whatever your heaviest trash is, is going to end up in this bucket. And again, this is all washable. This is stainless steel in here that we've added the support system. And with a cyclonic uh, twist, this is to help separate your heavier solids into the bucket. And only the light stuff is going to make it through here and go to your bag in the 20-gallon uh, the stainless steel tank. Uh, there are some arrows that we have on this bucket and on the lid, and that tells you where to line that up when you're going to put the lid back on. When you're going to put it back together. Being that this is all, all aluminum dolly with a stair climbing wheels, quick disconnects on your vacuum separator, washable filters, except for the only thing that's not washable is that yellow bag. When you're doing dry pickup, put that in, that would have to be replaced. But everything else you could clean, wash, reuse over and over again. Uh, we find this unit to be very strong, it's 335 CFM. And uh, very easy to plug in because you just find two separate circuit breakers with the, uh, the lighted circuit locator. Gives you the ability to be very portable, get this in and out of your service truck easily, and use it for all sorts of different uh, hazardous conditions. Anyway, thanks for watching.